Today's video is all about my Black Panther Noir. Oh my gosh, his teeth? His baby teeth. He's finally getting his adult canines. Instead of being a meat cake, it's more of like a little meat pizza for him, but I think Noir's gonna absolutely love it. Three, two, one, and here he is. What is up everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope all of you guys are having just an absolutely amazing day and for those of you that are new here, well I'm Jacob, this right here is Theo Jr. my capuchin monkey and welcome to my crazy jungle. So right now we're in one of my jungle enclosures, we're in here with Theo Jr. my capuchin monkey and if you guys saw the title and thumbnail, you will know for today's video that today's video is all about my Black Panther Noir. You guys may have noticed that Noir is getting so so big and he is getting to the size where he he could possibly eat me. So guys, you are gonna see Noir. He just turned a year old today, so we are gonna have to go make him a giant meat cake for his birthday. He started to lose his baby teeth and he's getting his giant adult canines, which are gonna be about this long and about this thick. So the bigger he gets, the older he gets, the more and more dangerous Noir is going to become. But because I have a strong relationship with him, I've been working with big cats for almost 10 years now, I have a very strong understanding for these animals. But even though we have a good bond, at the end of the day, these are wild animals and the bigger they get, the more dangerous they become and the chances of them eating you increase. So guys, if you wanna know if Noir is gonna eat me, if you wanna see him now that he's gotten so big, you wanna see his baby teeth, you wanna see us give him his birthday cake, well guys, you are in the right place and we're gonna hop right into that. So before we head over to the store to get all the supplies to make Noir's birthday cake, I wanna show you guys Noir and just how big he's gotten. We've also got his baby teeth. We also wanna check up on the rest of our cat friends, but what's so insane is how big Noir's gotten. I can't wait to show all of you guys. Oh, hello! So right over here, we have one of my servals. We have Cheech. Now Cheech is hanging out where Noir used to live, and Cheech is just kinda of over here up on his platform, so we're gonna come say hi. Hello, Mr. Cheeto Man. So this is Cheech one of my rescued African servals. Yes, I know. You are a hungry boy, you would like some food, I know. Cheech is just hanging out, enjoying the afternoon, and we are gonna go see Noir, my black jaguar now. He is sitting right here waiting for us, and it might be a little hard to see him because he's so jet black that he blends in so well, and here he is. Let me try to get him to come down. Come here, boy, come, 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 come. Come on, jump on down, boy. So in just a little bit, we are gonna be going inside with this crazy kid. Let's kinda go around to this side right here. So we move them to this bigger enclosure till he moves to his permanent habitat, which is way in the front. But as you can see, he has gotten so big, but it is kinda hard to see. Let's see if he'll stand up. Come stand up, 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 up. It really is kind of hard to see from the outside how big he is, but you can see from right here, you can see all of these incredible claws. Now, all big cats have retractable claws, and the jaguars have some serious claws. But let's look at your teeth, because Noir has just started losing his baby teeth, and I'm happy to announce that we were able to find his two lower baby teeth. So this right here is Noir's baby teeth that we were able to find. And we're actually gonna be making these into little necklaces. I think this one's gonna be mine. I might give this other one to my sister. But now that he's lost his little baby teeth, his big adult canines have come in. And let me tell you, these jaguars are some of the strongest cats in the world. They have the strongest bite pressure of any big cat. They hunt caiman in the wild. They grab their prey with one bite and literally crush their skull and their neck so if this guy could grab and eat a caiman, well, he could definitely eat me if he wanted to. So it's so crazy to think that this right here is Noir when he was a tiny little baby cub. So tiny, so adorable, and so cute. And now he is just a big, big boy. I absolutely love getting to spend time with this kid. He's licking my hair right now. You can see him right here. He's just kind of licking my head because he likes the way my hair tastes. And I love getting Jaguar kisses from this sweet boy. We've developed a great relationship. Yes, I know you are so nice and kind. Now guys, don't do what I'm doing. Definitely don't put your face up to a big cat. So now that you guys got to see just how big Noir has gotten, we've got to head to the store to get all the supplies to make his meat cake. Then we're gonna come back here. We're gonna make his cake with Hannah and then we're gonna go in and feed it to him. So we just got here to Walmart and we have got to get all of the food to make Noir's birthday cake. Now this is a growing hungry Jaguar, so we gotta go all out for his birthday. So I'm thinking we're gonna get some salmon fillets for him. So we've got all kinds of salmon here. So I'm thinking we're gonna get one of these big strips of salmon right here from Walmart. This looks absolutely delicious. If I would eat it, so would my Jaguar. So we're gonna get him some salmon. But guys, comment down below right now, what else should we get him? Because we're gonna be doing ground beef, we're gonna be doing salmon, we might even do some organs, guys. We're gonna do a whole cake. So we got our 
salmon and the next ingredient we're gonna need is definitely some ground beef. Ground beef is Noir's favorite, so we're gonna get this five pound tube of ground beef. Now, Noir eats about three pounds, so we'll have some beef left over for the next day, but we're also gonna get another five pounds for my cat. So the same meat that you guys would buy and eat for yourselves is the same meat that we feed to our big cat. So we're gonna get 10 pounds of ground beef. Now, the only thing that we're missing, I think we're gonna get some chicken, maybe some pork, maybe some organs. Guys, I have no idea, but let me know. What should we feed them? And I think we're gonna get some thin pork chops for him too. And to finish it off, we are gonna get some chicken livers. We're gonna get some organs because organs are the most nutrient dense food. So Noir is gonna get a nutrient dense birthday cake today. So we've got all of our ingredients. So let's check out, let's head home and let's make his cake. One hour later. So we just got back from Walmart and Hannah is now here to help us out. Hannah, are you ready to give Noir his birthday cake? I'm excited. I'm excited to see how he reacts to I'm it. I'm excited to see how he reacts and we haven't shown Noir in a while and literally the past month he's had this crazy growth spurt and Hannah, I haven't told you but look at this. Do you see what this is? <gasps> oh my gosh, his teeth? His baby teeth. He's finally getting his adult gosh. canines. So me and Hannah are gonna actually make matching necklaces out of these Jaguar teeth. We're gonna be able to have them right here so we can always have a piece of baby Noir with us because at one point he was this tiny baby adorable Jaguar. Now he's a big killing machine. So it's so cool to see him lose these baby teeth, be able to have these and always keep them a part of us. So let's stop talking about this and let's make his birthday cake. So Hannah, I'm gonna need your help today because right, we've, got a, we've, we've got a hungry Jaguar and he might eat us when we try to give it to him. So <laughs> you're gonna, hopefully not. I hope not, I hope not either. And right here we have our gloves on. So Hannah, we're gonna get started with the ground beef, but in the okay. meantime, I want you to cut open the stinky salmon. Oh, you so left me you, the dirty job. I left you the dirty oh. job, you take that. Okay. You're gonna cut that open and I'm gonna come right here right now and basically we're just gonna cut open this package. Since Noir is a hungry growing Jaguar, he's going to be getting about three and a half pounds of meat today. So we're just gonna take this out right now. We're gonna get all of our beef out just like this and this is gonna kind of be the base of our food today. So this is gonna be the kind of base of the cake. So we're gonna take most of this tube to make a giant meat patty. Now Hannah's cutting open our salmon. We're gonna do little strips of salmon. So now that we got all of our ground beef out, we're gonna kind of mold it and make it into a cake just like this. We're gonna kind of make this nice thin layer just like this. We're gonna make this giant large beef patty just like this for this Jaguar. So we're gonna kind of mold it just like this. And now Hannah, are you ready for the salmon? So right now we're just gonna really kind of just cut up our salmon into little strips. And this is gonna kind of be the topping for our cake today. So we're just gonna keep cutting these little salmon strips. And honestly, this could be like delicious sashimi. Hannah, would you like no, to try no, it? Thanks. No, no, no. I've decided to actually cut up the salmon into little tiny pieces. So instead of being a meat cake, it's more of like a little meat pizza for him. But I think Noir is gonna absolutely love it. So now that we got all of the salmon on our meat cake, we are gonna actually cut open some of our pork. So we're just gonna cut open just a little bit of this pork, just like this, and I'm thinking we're gonna use a couple strips of the pork. So we're gonna put in here about two strips of this pork right here, and we're also gonna kinda cut this up into these thin little pork strips. And this is gonna kinda be the topping for his food. We got the basic ground beef, we've got salmon, we've got pork, and of course we can't forget his big cat vitamins. So right now we're just finishing up cutting up our little pork chunks, and this is our meat pie for no Noir the Black Jaguar. We've got ground beef, we've got delicious salmon, and we've got some pork. So instead of a cake, it's more like a meat lover's pizza, and we cannot forget our big cat vitamins, which is our seasoning today. So we're gonna take our vitamins, and we're just gonna lightly sprinkle it over the cake, just like this. Noir is gonna absolutely love it. And we're here just sprinkling it on just like that. And now that we sprinkled all of our seasoning on, we wanna mix it in nice and thoroughly so you can get all of the nutrition. So since it is Noir's birthday and it is a party here always, we cannot forget about Noir's friends. Noir's closest friends are Ali and Cheech. Those are their two neighbors that live right next to him. So of course, if we're giving Noir some cake, we've got to give Ali and Cheech some cake. So we've got some mini cakes for them here. So we've got one for Ali, we've got a little ground beef patty here, and we have a second one for Cheech. And we're going to top each of them off with some fresh salmon. So we're gonna put the salmon in the bowl just like this so all the cats can have some birthday cake. So right now we have all of our birthday cakes ready. We have Noir's giant cake, we have Ollie, and we have Cheech. So guys, the real question is, are these cats gonna like their birthday cake? I think 
with the smelliness of the salmon, the taste of the beef, and we added some pork in here. I think they're going to absolutely love it, but there is only one way to find out, and that is by heading out and giving the cats their cake. So the first cat to get some cake today is going to be Ollie, our ginormous male clouded leopard. Hannah, are you ready to go in with Ollie? I'm so excited. Uh, I love Hannah's Mr. Ollie, man. Hey, we got his food ready. So Hannah, let's head inside. Let's go feed this guy. And look, look who's coming oh, up to say hi. Ollie. Hello, Mr. Oh. Ollie. So, oh yes, you are a hungry boy. So Ollie's hissing at me. Now Ollie doesn't really like guys too much. So wish me luck when I head in. I may or may not go in. You know, these animals, just like people, have their own personality. So some days he loves me. Some days he hates me, so we're just gonna have to find out. All right, Hannah, you ready? Yeah. All, All right. right. You ready? Yes, All I right, am. We're in. We got the food. Let's go. We've got the food. Hannah, I wonder how he's gonna be with me. I, I, I wonder too. Hopefully, I, hopefully he's nice today. I hope he is. All right, so Hannah's heading in. All right, we're she's on going. The platform. Come on. And she's going to put the food Hi, in. So Hannah's Ollie. putting the food in right now. And come she's here, waiting Mr. to see if Ollie, Ollie wants to come out. Is, now, is he coming? I, I don't know if he's coming. Look. He's kind of hiding. Look. Oh, there he dear. is. Look at little is. Ollie. He's come hiding here, and he's going up. And he come definitely here. wants his food. So Ollie has come up and he definitely wants his food. Ollie is crunching and munching on his food, which he is absolutely loving. So you can see Ollie is loving his cake. And if you look at Ollie's ginormous teeth, he's got some giant canines that are about four to five feet long. The clouded leopards have the longest canines for their body size and are the closest living relatives to the saber-toothed tiger. Now the reason why they call them clouded leopards is if you look at the spots that run all down his body, they almost look like clouds. And let me tell you, Ollie has got to be the most gorgeous clouded leopard that I have ever seen. It's a privilege to have him here at the Redland Conservation Center and be able to hang out with him each and every day. So now that we fed Ollie, we are going in with Cheech. And as you can see, Cheech is waiting at the door. He is one hungry cat and he is ready for his cake. He smells it. I smell it. It smells absolutely delicious. So we're going to head in right now. And we're going to, ah, yes, yes, I, sir, yes, I know you would, have, you would like your food. So hello, sir, come, come, come. Up, 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 up. And he just jumped about seven feet right up into the air. And right now, Cheech is enjoying his food. He's crunching. He's munching. We've got some salmon. We've got chicken. We've got beef. we got a whole bunch of food for this sweet serval kid. He's absolutely beautiful. Being able to pet him while he's eating is also really good. We've really worked hard at desensitizing sensitizing our cats and if you guys have been here from the beginning you will know that Cheech and Chong again are our rescued servals and when these boys got here they were tiny and they were extremely weak Cheech was really weak he could not even really walk and balance correctly and Chong had surgery on his legs because they were not getting the right diet you see us give these vitamins every single meal and where they were living before they actually were not getting those vitamins and they were not getting the proper diet here at the Redland Conservation Center we were able to rehab these cats and give them the best life that they deserve so now that we got to feed Cheech, we got to feed Ollie. Now, the moment all of you guys have been waiting for, we are gonna head in with Noir, my black jaguar. He's ready for his cake, and so am I. So before we can give Noir his food, we are actually gonna move him into his lockout. We've got his lockout area right here, and this is where Noir is going to go. Now, Noir, he just wants to kind of hang out with us right here, but I wanna try to get him over into his lockout. So that way we can actually safely put his food in his enclosure and then let him out. So Noir's coming this way. Come on, boy. Come here, buddy. So Noir's coming into his lockout right here, and then all we're gonna do is we're just gonna close it on up just like that. We're gonna close this, and we're gonna lock it. So the whole point of these lockouts is so that we, the keepers, can actually safely go into the habitats. We can clean in there, we can change waters, we can pick up poop without interacting with the animal and also food. So that's why Noir gets shifted in here when he wants to eat, sometimes when we have to do enclosure maintenance. So that's why it's really important to always have lockouts with big cats. So right now we're heading into Noir's enclosure and he can already smell his meat cake. He's here, he's reaching his paw out and he definitely wants it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring this out right here and we're gonna put this right up here centered on his big platform and what cake is not complete without some icing. So we've got whipped cream which is one of Noir's favorite treats. So we're actually gonna add just a little tiny bit of whipped cream just like this on the outside of the cake. Now this is just a treat for Noir. He rarely gets this as a treat, so we got this, and we're just gonna put a couple dots all around the cake, just like that. Our big cat cake is complete, so now the last thing we have to do is shift Noir in and have him eat it. So right here, we've got Noir's cake ready, and Hannah, are you ready to let him out? Ready. All right, Hannah, yeah, let him out right now in three, two, one, and here he is. Noir is coming, and he is absolutely loving his food. He's here, he's licking it up, and guys, I don't know if you can hear this, but you can hear Noir. 
licking his food. You can hear that, that's Jaguar ASMR right there. We've got, we're tiny miking Noir right now, so he can lick his food. Now the first thing he's going for is that whipped cream, which is his absolute favorite. And if you guys look at him right here, he is getting so, so huge. Yeah, Noir is just so, so big. So you can see his head right here next to my hand. He is one ginormous Jaguar right here. So Noir is absolutely loving his food, all the beef, the salmon, the whipped cream, the pork. This Jaguar is just loving it. So right now, Noir has just about finished his cake. We've just got a little bit left. We've got one piece of salmon and maybe about a quarter pound of beef. Noir absolutely destroyed it. He's absolutely loving it. And this is one big cat. So right now, Noir has finished his meat cake and we are giving him a bottle. So this is the one way we're gonna finish off Noir's birthday with a delicious bottle. Now, even though Noir is nearly 115 to 120 pounds, he still enjoys his bottle just as he would as a tiny little kitten. And by giving him this bottle, it's an incredible enrichment for him and it's an incredible bonding process because in the wild the mother would give him the milk and in his case I'm his dad and kind of his mother so we're giving him some milk and he's loving it so that my friends is going to end today's episode I hope all of you guys did enjoy watching today's noir birthday video so if you guys enjoyed today's video please make sure to give this video a thumbs up comment down below your favorite part of today's video and if you guys are not yet subscribed yet to me if you want to see noir get about a hundred more pounds and grow even more well guys all you have to do is go right now and subscribe below